Welcome to the second part of section 5.7, which is covering vertex form. Yesterday, we graphed in vertex form. Today, we're going to write equations of quadratics in vertex form. So sometimes you'll be given a picture and asked to, be write, asked to write an equation, and sometimes you're going to be given a written description and asked to write an equation. So let's just jump right into example number one. It says write the equation of the quadratic picture. So first, we're going to start with basic vertex form, vertex form, which is y equals a x minus h squared add k. And remember from before that h comma k is the vertex. So the first thing that I need to do is fi find the vertex. The vertex is the highest or lowest point on the graph. In our case, this is our vertex right here, which is negative 2 comma 4. So I'm going to substitute that into my equation. So I have y equals a x subtract negative 2 squared add 4. Simplifying, this is y equals a x add, add 2 squared add 4. Okay, so the last piece of information I need is that a. So what I need to do now is choose another point on the graph that will help me find a. There's a whole bunch of points that you should see. I could choose this negative 4 comma 0, uh, or probably the easiest one is to choose 0, 0. So what I'm going to do is substitute 0, 0 in for x and y and solve for a. So I get 0 equals a multiplied by 0 add 2 squared add 4. Okay, so this is 0 equals a multiplied by 2 squared add 4. So 0 equals 4a add 4. If I subtract 4, I get negative 4 equals 4a, and a equals negative 1. Last thing I need to do is I need to rewrite my equation. Now that I found a, I'm done with the point 0, 0. I just need to use a, and I need to use the vertex. So my equation becomes y equals negative 1, or just negative, x add 2 squared add 4. And that's it. Now just checking if this makes sense. This would mean that my vertex is negative 2, 4, because I switched the sign of the first one, keep the sign of the second one. It means a is negative 1, which means the parabola opens down. Okay, now does that match what I have? Yes, my vertex is negative 2, 4, and yes, the, ver the parabola opens down. So that's good. That just means that my answer makes sense. And then I'm finished. Please remember that every equation should have an x and a y. So once you find the a, that extra point, that 0, 0, you're done with, and you don't need it anymore. Okay, we're going to try another one together. So example 2 says write the equation of the parabola with a vertex of 3, negative 6 and passing through 7, 14. So I'm going to start by writing the general form. And then I'm going to substitute in the vertex. So y equals a x subtract 3 squared subtract 6. I'm going to make this black. Okay, so my vertex is 3, negative 6. And then they gave me this extra point. So I need to think, why did they give me that point? Well, they gave me that point so that I could find a. So now I need to substitute in. 14 is substituted for the y. 7 is substituted for the x. So this becomes 14 equals a multiplied by 4 squared subtract 6. I'm going to continue up here. So 14 equals 16a subtract 6. If I add 6 to the other side, I get 20 equals 16a. So a equals 20 divided by 16, but I have to simplify that. Well, 20 and 16 are divisible by 4, so this is really 5 over 4. I'm not finished yet. I have one more step. I just need to write my final equation, and then I'm done. So I have y equals a, which is 5 over 4, and then I have x subtract 3 squared subtract 6. Okay, so again, this shows me that my vertex is 3, negative 6, which matches. And then positive a, the, the parabola is opening up. 
Remember that that 7, 14 was only to help us find A. And then once we find A, we're done with it. Okay. Please take a minute or two, pause the video right now, and try example three on your own, please. When you're finished and you have a complete answer, come back and we'll go over it together. Okay, so you should have started by writing the general equation. Your vertex is negative 7, 11, so you get y equals a, x add 7, squared add 11. Then you should have substituted this point in for x and y in order to find a. So I have negative 9 equals a multiplied by 10 squared add 11. If I subtract 11, I get negative 20 equals a multiplied by 100, because 10 squared is 100. That gives me a equals negative 20 over 100. Both 20 and 100 are divisible by 20, so really this is negative 1 over 5. So my final answer should have been y equals negative 1 fifth x add 7 squared add 11. So that's it. A little mental check. This means my vertex is negative 7 comma 11, which is good. And then that 3 comma negative 9 we were done with after we found our a value. So hopefully you got that one right. If not, hopefully you now understand what you did wrong. So let's move on to our last example. If you would please flip the page. Okay, so this is exactly like example number one. It says write the equation of the parabola shown. This also is one of your examples. So take a minute, pause the video, and do this one on your own. When you are finished, come back and we'll go over it together. Okay, you should have had enough time to try this one on your own. As your final answer, you should have had y equals 9 x add 4 squared subtract 3. If you didn't get that, you need to go back and find your mistake. If you come to class tomorrow with no work shown, you will not receive credit. When you come to class tomorrow, we will do some more practice with graphing and with writing equations. See you tomorrow.